How's it going, gamers? It is that time once again for some Appalachian Daily Report. I'm, of course, the Maple Warlock. Yes, the Maple Warlock. Yep, we're gonna go over some challenges again. Some fool just nuked the queen, but I'm in no rush to go fight her this time because I'm still well overstocked from the last one, so, you know, I, I, I hope them well. I hope them well. There's, like, two guys showing up. Anyway, on today's little list we've got complete the event monster mash while wearing vault university clothes if you can get some friends and go do monster mash that is possibly one of the best pvp events in this game in my opinion it's not a free-for-all you can only attack the guy with the mask and only the guy with the mask can fight back but just yeah it's uh, it's hard to explain it's just fun it's just fun and a lot of people don't actually like to do it so most of the time you just wind up doing it alone and just killing ghouls craft camera film Again, so if you did that yesterday, you uh, you you probably know what to do. And if you didn't do that yesterday, well, you need to go fix a camera, and then you can craft some film. I think you can craft. I'm not 100%. I was sure that the prompt used to be there before the f camera. You found the camera to actually make film, but anyway. And for crafting film, I'm I'm gonna give a quick little check here. My game is actually really funny though, so you might get in here to actually see. Yeah, you're gonna need uh, adhesive, crystal, plastic, and silver. I obviously don't have any plastic right now, so I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, yesterday, I did actually didn't have any silver, so I had to go to the Lucky Hole Mine. There's silver in, or there's crystal in there. There's also lead in there, but there's crystal in there. So you can get some crystal. You can smelt it up. You can have a time. Oh, get off the bench already. I know the game's lagging super hard. Two hours later. Okay, never mind. I guess it's gonna bug, and it's one of these. I'm stuck on the goddamn bench bugs. Okay, so some technical issues aside, I had to, I had to restart the game to set server went all wiggy, but everything's working fine now. So anyway, where were we? Craft camera film. Yeah, pain in the ass. Uh, kill anglers in the mire. There's a couple good spots. There is a substation here, just above Sunday Brothers near Harper's Ferry and the Berkeley Station, and they often, the, some will spawn there sometimes. They'll also, you might get gulpers and stuff, but yeah, you might have to server hop a couple times to get them to pop up, but they like to spawn there. It's similar to um, the spawns at Middle Mountain. You can't find them at Middle Mountain. I've never seen anglers there, but they like to spawn there around Thunder Mountain. You could also just roam the mire for the other random spawn locations and they might pop up. I, I just know that that's one of the places I usually go look first because they do like to spawn there quite often. Otherwise, uh, you may have to Google a map of spawn locations, because I don't, I, I don't I haven't really memorized all the spawn locations in and around the mire. I know there's a few here around between the church and the hotel, around the riverbank. You might also see some around Treehouse Village, because uh, there's usually some gulpers and some random stuff spawn out there. Anyway, level up well, and it's responder gear, fashion like mask, over 20, wielding a protest sign, on Deathclaw Island, you know, all these, all these good things, all the good things. Same as it's been for days. Nuclear winners just win a match, any old match. Easier said than done. And take a camera picture of a player wearing sunglasses in a nuked region. So if you're lucky, someone will drop a nuke and you'll have a friend on. My suggestion would be put on your highest rad resistant power armor. Because you can't wear sunglasses and the rad suit at the same time, I don't believe. So you'll have to put on power armor and then take off your helmet to put your sunglasses on. So that's why I would suggest uh, something with some real high rad resistance. Because when you take that helmet off, you're going to lose some of it. And then, like, stand on the edge of the nuke zone. And then get your camera ready. Because sometimes I know they can be a little buggy and don't want to take a picture right away. So get ready and know that it's going to take the picture. And then one guy can kind of run into the edge of the nuke zone. Because you don't have to be in it. Just they do. So then they can run in and you take the picture. And then they can run out and then you guys can swap and do it again. And then you don't have to, uh, you can also do that if, if you don't have power armor. Drop some rad X or whatever, get your resistance up, and just kind of shuffle into the side real quick and let them take a picture and run back out. And you may still take a heavy dose of radiation, but you won't take, uh, you, you may not take a lethal dose. So you can just go either shower off or if you don't have a rad shower, you know, pound some rad away. You can go to Flatwoods and milk the cows and chug some rad. Choke, choke some Brahmin milk because it, it, it also removes the rads. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's the dailies for today, guys. I didn't miss any, did I? Craft camera? Nope. Uh, little technical issues aside. So yeah. I've been the Maple Warlock as the Maple Warlock. 
And this has been the Appalachian Daily Report. I'll try to see you guys tomorrow. I got, I got some more family stuff going on. I will try to keep y'all informed on to the happenings of the Appalachian Daily Challenges. Don't know why nobody actually watches this, but the few that do. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Cheers. Quick shout out to Texas Weeds for uh, helping to support the channel. It's ultra appreciated, my dude. Teamwork makes the dream work.